Hey guys, it's uh, AJ Clayson with Drunken Science with uh, Benjamin Shield. Who I got here? This is a supermodel. Like, um. Go away. Go. Um, she, has <laughs> she has superpowers. Ben, I found you. I found you within the first like five seconds. Excuse me, seven. All right, so, um, we don't have our special gimbal thing. What are you doing? I see a lot of Vaseline here. What are you planning? I am prepping my bell jar. A bell jar? Bell that, jar. that even sounds even worse. So it's a, uh, a vacuum chamber mm -hmm. inside of which I put in bell. Okay. And then I suck the air out to show that uh, sound needs air to travel. Or not just air, but needs to travel through something rather than just... Uh, like light can travel through a vacuum, sound cannot. Okay. Uh, now, Ben, I'm I'm looking at the bottles here. The, this looks like some serious drunken science. Well, I mean, some people take things very seriously. I take I take science seriously. You take drunken seriously. That's why we work so well together. Okay. Okay. So I've got a nice layer of Vaseline, which I need to provide a, a good seal on the vacuum chamber. Oh, shoot, we weren't supposed to show the dirty countertop. Oh. Move the camera, move the camera. All right. Okay. Now. So, you can hear the bell. Hopefully, all of you viewing at home can hear that. And now I suck out the air with my vacuum pump. It's working. Now I'll try again. It's not a very powerful pump, so we're not getting a super tight vacuum. If we were to turn off the pump, will we still be able to hear the uh, bell? A little bit, but not as loud. Well. So let's do that. Let's turn off the pump because it still holds the vacuum. A lot so quieter, it's folks. There, but it's a lot quieter. So now I will unplug it, and it gets a lot louder. Oh, okay. So, so what are we looking at here? I mean, um, light can travel through the vacuum. Right. There's no All space. There's no atmosphere between the sun and the earth, and yet we get light from the sun. Right. Light travels through the vacuum of space, because light is a particle. Light is a little particle that wiggles up and down, back and forth. It's also a wave. It's complicated. But light travels through a vacuum because it is a thing. Sound doesn't travel through a vacuum because sound is a shockwave. It's not a thing in and of itself. It needs something else to travel through. Okay. So like the, the old movie, beautiful movie, Alien. Tagline for that movie was, in space, no one can hear you scream. Because there's no air in space. There's no medium for the air there's for the shockwaves. To this seems through. this seems like you're trying to prove something like the uh, you know we didn't land on, on the moon thing. Don't say that. It only gives fuel to the uh, the doubters. But yes, we landed on the moon. We did land on the moon. I I believe it. But Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, two of my heroes. Buzz, if you're watching, we love you. We do. Look at Ben. Look at his eyes. Buzz, we love you. Look, you lost if, Neil too soon. If you want to come on our show, Buzz, we'd love to have you. Buzz Aldrin, Drunken Science with Benjamin Shield is the place to be. I promise. Open invitation, Buzz. Or any former astronaut, really. Jim Lovell, we've talked several times. Um, come on the show. This is not just a celebrity baiting session, I promise. Uh, vacuum chambers are cool. Vacuum chambers are very useful. There's a new product on the market, AJ. I forget what it's called, but it is an at-home um, food freeze dryer. 
Really? Yes, and it is a vacuum chamber where you suck the air out and then it gets really cold and then you let the air back in and it dries out and freeze dries your food. Pretty cool. I want to get one just to play with, really. I think I think uh, we need funding from NASA for something like that, right? Uh, maybe not NASA, but some sort of uh, food preservation. Kellogg's, we're looking to you. Bird's eye? Bird's eye. Guys, come on. They, they, Bird's eye pioneered the frozen foods. They did? No, they did. how did they do that? Well, that's, that's kind of a long, complicated thing, and it's more time than we have tonight. So, everybody, thanks for watching. And Ben, what do we always remind people to do? I remind people to science responsibly. I remind you to ask your bartender's permission before performing these tricks. And if you find a bar with a bell jar, never leave that bar. You have to leave when they close, but keep going back. Uh, come back as soon as they open. Back, what, 11 in the morning if they're in Utah, everywhere else. They're pretty much open all the time? Uh, they have to close some time for cleaning. Relatively. Anyway, guys, this is Benjamin Shield downing a drink. Um, hey, best, best damn root beer and best damn cream soda. Um, we love you. Just sponsor us already. We love you guys. That'd be great. See ya.